What the heck is the Congress wasting its time on this for? Here's a challenge for you. Here's what Lanny Brewer should say to Henry Waxman. Mr. Chairman, my client played a child's game for a living and did very well. You write the laws of the country. Let's test your urine before we test his. Now, that's really yeah, yeah. putting down the gauntlet. But basically, where in the Constitution can the Congress investigate Baseball. But yeah, you're just breaking the rules, and that means you're living a lie. That means when you go out to pitch against another guy, you've already cheated. That is like doctoring the ball. That is like corking your bat, but you're corking your body. And I don't care if everybody else is doing it. It does not make it right. Derek Jeter is not doing it. You could point out Todd Zeal is not doing it. Ken Griffey Jr. is not doing it. So at least, if they were able to get their millions of dollars, at least we should know the truth and make clear that that's not the way you should do it, you high school senior. You college freshman, you would be draft pick. Do it the right way. By the way, Congress has done more to clean up uh, professional sports than anybody else. And where's that in the Constitution? Congress wants to get on the evening news. Hey, Judge, Judge, if you saw, saw a bank being robbed and you could tackle the guy before he got away, should you not do it? I'm not restrained by the Constitution. Right. The Constitution only restrains the they government. Are, the government was not doing their job. They had to the step up. The government doesn't no, no, have Major anything League baseball. to do with monitoring Major League baseball, baseball was not to. If it wasn't for Major League, excuse me, it wasn't for U.S. Congress, the union who had a stranglehold over Major League Baseball. Baseball and Bud Selig. They refused to have any form of drug testing. This league was overrun and a big fraud. We found out we have no real home run king in Barry Bonds, in Mark McGuire, and Sammy Sosa, and all because of Congress. Why shouldn't they finish the job? Because Congress is limited in what it can do. Congress can't just investigate anything it wants. That's why we have a Constitution. Suppose Congress decided to investigate you and me because of the words we're using on the air. Look, Congress is there for one reason because they want to get their mugs on the evening. No, news on the good uh, side of an true. issue. That's not true. Which they, is, they let me don't finish. Be no, 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 Brian. They let don't want to be here. Hey, I didn't interrupt you. Let me finish, Kilmeade. The Congress wants to get on the good, happy side of an issue. It's wrong to use drugs. Here's a chance to condemn somebody and make ourselves look good. There's no statute that authorizes Congress to do it. There's nothing in the Constitution what? that authorizes Congress to do it. They have no business doing it. Suppose Congress, wait, wait, for 15 years, we're watching this league just rerun ramshot over league of records in history that was over 100 years old. Finally, U.S. The, they filed a, they called some guys up, they started looking into the backgrounds, they they looked at Jose Canseco's book and they say, if this is true, why isn't Major League Baseball doing anything? Let's examine this. And the Senate picked it up and the House finished the job. Suppose the public wants to watch a league of freaks like they do with, uh, with professional wrestling. Shouldn't they have the right to do it? If they want to watch Roger uh, Clemens throw the ball 100 miles an hour because he's got some chemical in his body that lets him do it, the public should be How able to watch it. If that? somebody else in the public wants to watch... Why don't they open up fire in a crowded somebody, movie theater? If somebody else I guess you don't want me to make this argument, Brian. Well, I just listened to you for ten minutes. I got to finish my thought. My thought is, why does it this take guy... you so long to get your thought out of your mouth? No, because I'm I'm saying it and I'm saying it clearly, but you keep cutting me off. Here's the deal, Roger it's the Clemens. The other way around, you Roger, keep cutting me Roger off. You can't answer my argument. I can answer any argument you want, but it's a ridiculous argument. It's not a ridiculous it's a, you argument. You have a ridiculous argument. You have an Adam and Eve argument. What the, came first? The public We're talking should about be able practicality. To, the public the should practicality be able to watch. is the public should be able to watch a league like Babe. Ruth the played in, a league that Joe DiMaggio played in, not a league full of injectable substances. We don't have the time as American citizens to investigate the teams that we're watching on TV. We're busy people. We want entertainment, honest entertainment. The public and if they should are be able lying to, to kids, they want. that's a problem. The public should be able to watch whatever they want. If they want to watch a league of freaks and they want to pay for it, it's none of the government's business. Okay, the, and uh, if, the a major league league of, if a league of purists wants to come by, like I wish baseball were pure and drug free. It's none of the government's oh. business. Your idealistic approach to things is not even practical. There's nothing for, idealistic about idealistic. wanting people to be able to watch whatever they want to watch. You, do, is, Mark McGuire real? is Mark McGuire a real home run hitter? Should, absolutely yes, not. So how should, do you know that? Because of Congress. Should the government be able to regulate wrestling and not let those guys pump up their bodies when more people watch wrestling than watch baseball? But if the, there's a market for it, the public should be able to watch it's it. A pure it's none of the government's business what the public wants to watch. Oh, my goodness. 
you got to be kidding me. You're comparing wrestling, baseball, football, and basketball? I'm comparing wrestling is not the, even I'm, a sport. I'm, I'm comparing they, they, the right of people to make a free me. choice to watch whatever they want without some politician deciding what it should be. What politician? A politician says, wait a second. This is a, this is a national pastime, and you are abusing it. And since you can't regulate it, we're going to have to step in and examine it. And what they have done in this situation does, uh, should be lauded, flat out lauded. They exposed Sammy Sosa, exposed Mark McGuire. They, bo they boosted up people and great Americans like Roger Maris by exposing them. They did it the right way, the pure way, and set a good example. Not by sitting there saying, look at me, by asking them questions. And when they couldn't answer those questions, they were exposed. And when Jose Canseco wrote a book, nobody cared. Nobody cared except Congress who said, if this is true, I don't want my kids watching it. If the public like you did not want to expose their children to the to the ravages of these guys are we that supposed to give these bodies, guys urine tests? You stop them from watching the game. Am I supposed to give Roger Clemens a urine test in 1999? How do I know what's real? It's up to people to police their own sport. When they don't do it, Congress stepped in. But if the for once they should be saluted. If Congress can police this sport, it can police anything, including right. free speech on the airwaves. Your block captains in the war on ignorance. They are making America more secure. It's Brian and the Judge.